idea forward is not a request. That's a demand. Okay? So here's the thing. Walk around for a minute. We can't shape the movement until we own the forwardness and her understanding of the forwardness. And sometimes what happens is in dressage riding that when you owned a horse and you're young like you are, and from the beginning and you're training from the beginning, what happens is in trying to, to learn and teach the greener horse to do these movements, we try so hard that we end up getting in our own way of both the horse and ourselves. And we think, oh my God, this is so complicated and hard because every time I go to do the movement, it's like that, you see that slowing down and the slowing down and then you think, now what am I gonna do with this? I'm trying really hard, but I don't have a lot to work with and so I start to shove it more. I'm sitting back to hold this canter. I'm using as much power as my body has. I'm holding it in my reins. I'm trying to get her to get forward in my bridle, but she's coming a little backwards. And, you know, Anna and Anne, what am I supposed to do here? And so the job for all of us as trainers is to break it down for you again. Honestly, to, to step away from the, the idea of this whole thought that you got to be able to make this pirouette happen. Because, see, it's not the pirouette. It started happening pretty easy to the right because she's a little more easy to the right anyway. But guess what? You're gonna, I'm, I'm going to make a light bulb come on for you here. I already am somewhat in just there as as weird as that may have felt for you, in a weirder also way, there was something that got easier because you weren't having to sit heavy on it. And all of a sudden you weren't, you, you weren't having to use the strengths that you have gotten used to using to go, okay? In other words, I wasn't saying sit back and drive because what's happened is the aids that we talked about over there, the driving seat, you've been driving so much with every stride. And I saw that the minute you rode into the ring. You've been back here driving so much with your seat that it's the wristwatch on my wrist to her. She doesn't care that much about it. Which is why when we were on the right, I said, now go, now, now, now go, now go, until I saw her going faster off the aid, and then I said, sit still, don't, don't lean back so much, don't drive so much, okay? To the left, where she's a little more labored, I actually thought, you know what? I gotta even take your seat out of the picture. Stop, because what's happening is, you're trying, you're pushing, you're saying, go, don't go, go, don't go, go, don't, you know, you're trying to push her into this closed hand, and you're trying to make her come to this pirouette-like canner, and she's going, well, listen, I, I, I'm so used to being driven. Eh, whatever, it's not, it doesn't mean that much to me. And I'm so used to being held, I'll just back up and slow down. And then if I feel like walking, I'll walk. Yeah, because she did that right. So what we have to do is break it down, Nicole, resensitize her, resensitize. Get away from her thinking that you're going to drive so much by your seat. Get away from her thinking that you're going to, you, because remember I said you were using too much inner leg in the beginning too, too much, and, and it, lot, so a lot is going to be about her, right, your right leg, because that was inner leg before, how she is off the right leg to her right hind leg to gallop better on this left lead. And then when you got into this hunt seat and made her get forward, you know, she was totally round the whole time. Now the thing is, can we bring her thinking like she wants to gallop faster, more 
on the, onto a smaller, a smaller stride in the same rhythm again and again until it's not because you're having to force her to, to go, but because she wants to go. That's what we have to do. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. You're going to see. In a second, we're going to let her walk one more sec, and we're going to go back to this left lead, okay? And you're going to, if, if it, I, you don't have to be way hunt but you know how forward you are right now? I want, and see, you know how you're sort of very relaxed in there? I don't want you to think I got to lean back and drive there because she's been pushed like this so much that she doesn't care about that. So now it's your right foot. Remember, it's da da, and she goes. Da da, and she goes. Or the whip, and she goes. And until she's so goey that then. She starts going, and she starts going this way a little, like like a like a half toss, but on a big, huge circle, okay? But really in the same rhythm and in the same really sweet, beautiful context as when she's galloping her sweet gallop. That's your job for today, is to get on this big circle a pretty kind of a half-passing feeling with you almost in a kind of a halfway to a hunt seat. But, and, and here's the thing. I don't want you to be, like, emotional in se- about it. I want you to think, you know what? Like, it's, uh, you drive, right? If you turn the key and put your foot down on the brake, it's supposed to start. Okay? It's not like you're supposed to go out there and do what in the – a hundred years ago, they had to go around, they did this to the motor, you know, or, and they used to do that with a lawnmower. They'd have to go, and then it would go, okay, you're not supposed to do that. And then, you know, try it seven times before it starts. It's supposed to start like a light switch. If the light switch doesn't go on, you're not supposed to go over there and stand there with uh, your finger on the switch, you know, when you're having a party and 20 kids are over. And you're not supposed to stand there with your finger on the switch hoping that the lights stay on all night while everybody's having the party. You're supposed to turn on the switch and go have a party until you turn the switch back off. She better know that. Okay? 